So for question number one of the airplane assignment, we've got, it says carbon 67.33. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna write, instead of 67.33%, I'm gonna write 67.33 grams of carbon. So on every one of these, that's how we wanna start is by converting those percentages to grams simply by changing the percent to the gram sign. So hydrogen is 6.93. So let's go back here to 6.93 again grams not percent of hydrogen and then nitrogen is 4.62 so 4.62 grams of nitrogen and then the last one is 21.12 so 21.12 grams of oxygen so for each one of those, you simply convert that percent to grams. And then the next step is you convert those grams to moles. So there are 12 grams in one mole of carbon. I get that from the periodic table. There's one gram in one mole of hydrogen. Again, all of these masses are coming from the periodic table. For nitrogen has a mass of 14 grams per mole and oxygen has a mass of 16 grams per mole. So every single time, the first thing that you do is you convert those, gram, those percentages to grams, like we did here, and then you convert those grams to moles using the molar masses from the periodic table. So now I'm gonna to go to my calculator here, 67.33 divided by 12 equals 5.33. 61 moles of carbon hydrogen 6.93 because they're both ones and then nitrogen 4.62 divided by 14 equals 0.33 grams or it's not grams sorry moles of nitrogen and then the last one is 21.12 divided by 16, which is equal to 1.32 moles of oxygen. Okay, so now that we have the moles, our next step is to divide, look at our four numbers that we have here, and we look at whichever number is the smallest, which is this one, 0.33 is the smallest of those four numbers. So we're going to divide everything, divide everything by 0.33. So the carbon one, 5.61 divided by 0.33 equals 17 carbons. For hydrogen, 6.93 divided by 0.33 equals 21 hydrogens. Obviously, that's one nitrogen. And then oxygen, 1.32 divided by 0.33 is four oxygens. So that means that this formula, or this chemical, has a formula of C17H21NO4. Okay, so now I go back to the assignment, and I go, hopefully, if I did this correctly, one of these is going to have that chemical formula, and there it is right here, C17H21NO4 which is the chemical formula of cocaine, which is an illegal narcotic drug. And this person, it says, had cocaine in there, notice on the right-hand side here, in their luggage. Okay, so if that person had cocaine in their luggage, then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna try to predict or guess who might have cocaine in their luggage. Oh, it's a su su suspected drug dealer. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to say victim number one. So this is, again, cocaine. And victim number one, therefore, is the drug dealer. Okay. And so that's how you do number one. Okay. Let's go ahead and do another one here. Let's do number two, the first part of number two uh, as well. So number two... Uh, says, let's see, number two says, so this one doesn't have any oxygen in it, so 63.16% is carbon, 
So 63.16 grams, remember, not percents, is carbon. And then 5.26% is hydrogen. So 5.26 grams of hydrogen. And then the last one is 31.58. 31.58 grams of oxygen okay and then we do the same thing there's 12 grams in one mole of carbon there's one gram in one mole of hydrogen and there are 16 grams in one mole of oxygen and now again I go to my calculator 63.16 divided by 12 equals 5.263 and again significant figures here don't matter for hydrogen, it's also 5.26 moles of hydrogen, and then oxygen, 31.58 divided by 16 equals 1.97, uh, let's say four moles of oxygen. Okay, and now remember our next step is to divide by the smallest of those numbers, so 1.974 is our smallest, so we're gonna divide all of these by 1.974. So 5.263 divided by 1.974 equals 2.67 carbons. Hydrogen, you're gonna get the same thing. 2.67 hydrogens and 1.974 divided by 1.974 is one oxygen. Now what that means is it means that the chemical formula should be C2.67H2.67O. Okay, and this is the time where, well, obviously you can't have that because you have to have whole numbers. So at this point, you're either gonna have to decide, do I multiply by two, do I multiply by three, or do I multiply by four? Those are the only ones that you're ever gonna have to multiply by. I'm trying to get all three of these numbers to a whole number, okay? And in order to do that, I have to multiply it by a number. Okay, if I multiply 2.67 by 2, that, that gets me to 5.34. That's not close to a whole number. number. But if I multiply 2.67 by 3, that gets me to 8.01. And that's really, really close to a whole number. Anytime you're super duper close to a whole number, you can say, yep, that's a whole number. I'm good. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of these numbers by 3. And what that does is going to give us a formula of C8. H8O3. Okay, and now we're going to go back to our formulas here. Again, if you've done this correctly, every single one of the ones that you find will be on this list. And hey, there it is. C8H8O3 is vanilla flavoring. Now, this person also, if you remember correctly, also had something else. Oops. Also, this person had two things they found on them. So, Victim number two, that person had vanilla flavoring in their briefcase, but they also had letter B, something else in their stomach. So again, once you know both of those things, it should be pretty obvious who uh, every single victim is. Um, and then at the end, you should have a good idea who every single victim is, and that should get you to the end of the assignment.